This is TV Platinum. Here are the top five stories making the headline. On number one, President Bola Tinubu has reiterated his administration's commitment to creating opportunities for youths and providing them with the necessary support and resources to succeed. As outlined in the National Youth Development Document, this statement was made during the Nigeria Police Force Youth Summit 2024 in Abuja in commemoration of the United Nations International Youth Day. The President, represented by the Minister of Youth, Dr. Jamila Bayo Ibrahim, emphasized the importance of youth engagement in national security efforts. The event themed enhancing the Nigerian youth's value for national security intelligence aimed to encourage youth participation in national security, highlight their contributions and address challenges facing the nation. Inspector General of Police Kayo Diegbetokun also expressed his belief in the role of Nigerian youth in achieving national security and sustainable development. On number two, former presidential candidate of the African Democratic Congress, ADC, Lumebi Kachiku has urged Nigerians to move away from the blame game and focus on finding solutions to the nation's problems. Speaking at a news conference in Abuja, Kachiku criticized the tendency to dwell on identifying problems without seeking viable solutions. He announced plans to host physical town hall meetings across the country where discussions will center on addressing the current economic challenges. On number three, the Federation Accounts Allocation Committee, FARC, has reported that unremitted funds by revenue-generating agencies to the federal government have risen to 4.1 trillion naira as of June 2024. This figure reflects an increase despite the agencies reconciling and paying 94.96 billion naira in outstanding debts in May 2024. According to a report by Fax Postmortem Subcommittee, the unresolved amount now stands at 165,067,714.53, which is 178.52 billion naira and 3,917,340,180 naira. 69.8 compared to 36 million 329,376.24 which is 51.88 billion naira and 2 billion 977 million 568 naira and 21 cobal recorded in May 2024 the report was signed by Mohamed Shiu, the chairman of the Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Physical Commission. On number four, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited (NNPCL) has reduced its stake in the Dangote refinery to invest in compressed natural gas (CNG) infrastructure. NNPC spokesperson Olufe Misune disclosed that the state-owned energy firm capped its stake at 7.2% down from the originally planned 20% to focus on building CNG stations across the country. Sunaya made this revelation during an appearance on Berkata Family Radio addressing allegations that NMPC was collaborating with the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Regulatory Commission to undermine the Dangote refinery. And lastly, the Association of Senior Civil Servants of Nigeria ASCSN has issued a strong warning to states that refuse to implement the new 70,000 Naira national minimum wage, threatening to disrupt the activities. The association's newly elected president, Sheikh Mohammed, made this declaration during the ASCSN's fifth quadrennial delegate conference in Lagos. Mohammed stated emphatically for states not ready to implement the new national minimum wage, it is impossible. He said, we are coming for them. He urged state's government to adopt the new wage, highlighting that increased revenue from the Federal Account Allocation Committee FAC should be used to improve the standard of living for their citizens. Those are the top stories. Do subscribe and follow us across all our platforms to get more of this update.